Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you how you can safely use the Tor browser or how you can safely access the dark web. So we're going to be using a VPN for this. If you didn't know, a VPN will route your connection through a server of your selection so that it looks like you're coming from that country. So I'll get straight into this and I'll talk about the best recommendations as far as VPNs, whether you're looking for links to pricing, discounts, or full reviews to learn more about these VPNs, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. So as you can tell here, I'm already connected to the ExpressVPN server. So if I were to go to, let's say, what is my IP address.com, it's going to say that I'm in New Jersey again, not because I'm physically in New Jersey, but because I'm connected to the New Jersey server with ExpressVPN. So the way it works is that you can just download and install one of these VPNs. And again, you can use the links below if you want to save some money on your first subscription. But once you've downloaded one of these VPNs, you'll have the application right here and simply go to the locations, pick a location of your choosing. Let's just go with Atlanta this time just to demonstrate. And as soon as I'm connected, I'll just go back and double check that my IP address is indeed an Atlanta one. And that's essentially it. And the reason you need to do this before accessing the dark web or downloading Tor, which is what you're going to use to access the dark web. This is essentially the dark web browser and you can download it. I'll leave the link below. You can go ahead and download this browser. And once it's downloaded and you open the browser, it'll look like this. So you'll have to connect. Now, if you don't mind your ISP knowing that you've accessed the dark web, then that's fine. You don't need a VPN. But as you know, the dark web is often associated with illicit activities. And so in some countries, depending on the restrictions, you might be under surveillance for using the dark web. So let's say you're a whistleblower and you want to use the dark web to publish some information. If you don't use a VPN and you just turn it off, sure, once you access the dark web, nobody will know what you're doing online. But the problem is your ISP or your internet service provider will still be able to know that you've accessed the dark web, even though they don't know what you're doing in there, but they can tell that your IP address was connected to the dark web. So in order to avoid that, you can use a VPN. So again, you can just download and install one of these VPNs and just make sure that the kill switch is on. Now the kill switch will disconnect your internet when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. So what this does is that it makes sure that nobody including your ISP or government will ever know what you're doing online, even when the VPN is off. So this is a very useful feature, especially if you're just using the dark web and out of nowhere, for whatever reason, the VPN disconnect. Now, this is rare with Express, Nord and Surfshark. But again, if it happens, the kill switch is just a safety measure just for that. And that's basically it. Now, you won't need to use split tunneling unless, let's say, you don't want your connection to be affected by the VPN, except for the selected applications. So for example, I can just add another app here. And from my files, I can add the Tor browser. And this way, when I turn on the VPN, everything in my computer won't be affected by the VPN, except for the Tor browser, or in this case, except for these two, because it's set on only allow selected apps to use the VPN. And again, you can do it the other way around. So it's a very useful feature. And it's available in Nord and Surfshark as well. So that is essentially it. Now that you know what to do, you can just download the VPN. Again, go to the options, turn on the kill switch, then go to locations and connect to whatever server you'd like to connect to. Let's just go with Dallas, for example. And the moment I'm connected, all I need to do is just connect to the Tor browser. Now, real quick, let's just double check right here. You'll notice that now I'm in Dallas. I'll be in Dallas as far as uh, my internet is concerned. And now that we're done here, we can just go ahead and connect to the Tor browser. You'll be connected and you will have full access to the dark web. Now, I don't necessarily need to connect right now, so I'm just going to cancel it. But a VPN is not just useful to secure your data or make sure that nobody knows what you're doing online. A VPN is also very helpful if you're trying to, let's say, watch a streaming service that's not available to you, or if you're trying to access maybe a site that is not available in your current location. Maybe you're traveling, you're abroad, you're not able to watch your Netflix show, you're not able to access whatever service that you're used to accessing. For example, in China, everything is banned. So you'll need something like Express 
VPN specifically for China because it's the best for China. If you're just privacy conscious and you're looking for the easiest to use and most consistent and reliable VPN, you've got 105 countries and you'll be able to secure up to eight devices per subscription, then ExpressVPN is a great choice. Uh, NordVPN is more of a well-rounded option that offers a whole lot of features for a very reasonable price. And you also have things like the dark web monitor and the onion over VPN servers, which will actually boost your experience if you use a lot of Tor. But you're limited at 61 countries, so if you're looking for the countries that Express has, then you probably don't want to go with NordVPN. Otherwise, this is definitely the best well-rounded VPN that offers a lot of features for a very reasonable price. And especially if you want to use it for Tor, it is indeed very prepared for that. And you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription, unlike ExpressVPN's eight. So two less devices and 44 less countries. Now, if six or even eight devices are not enough for you and you would like to secure an unlimited number of devices because you just want to share it around with your friends and family, then this is where Surfshark comes in because Surfshark allows for just that. And you have a hundred countries at your disposal and all the features that you would need, plus a few extras here and there like a speed tester and a couple of features that'll help you if you're in a censorship heavy country, an ad blocker, and bypasser which is the same as split tunneling is just called bypasser in surfshark so if you want to access the dark web you definitely want to use one of these so that is about it and if you end up picking any of those up by the way make sure that you know exactly what you need because according to express too many people end up sticking to the monthly plan because they start with it and they just let it resubscribe at a very expensive rate which ends up costing a whole lot more so if you want to save money in the long run just go with a 12 month plan unless you know you're just going to need the vpn for no more than a month then go with a monthly plan otherwise go for the 12 month plan which will also give you a discount if you check the description down below and there's a 30 day money back guarantee either way in case you change your mind later so that is basically it for this video comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one